Hey guys, this is Tom. Today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop batch processing. It's a really useful function in Photoshop that is definitely being underutilized in uh, internet marketing. It will basically allow you to do an action once and apply the same action to a whole batch of images automatically. Um, so the example that I'm going to use for this tutorial is the same one from my seven day POF mastery guide. If you have a copy, I'm going to show you exactly how to do what you have read. And if you haven't gotten a copy yet, it's definitely not necessary, but you can get your own from this site. All right, let's get started. I'm going to open one of the images I'm going to apply the batch to. This is the do the action once part. And I'm just going to show you the template that I've created for it. This is a 310 by 110 template. So say you, you've scraped these 110 by 80 ads from POF. Now you want to make them to 310 by 80 ads with a, with a template that you create. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that in batch here. So first you want to go to window actions. And what we're basically going to do is create a loop, an action loop. And POF, or I'm sorry, Photoshop will apply the same loop over and over again for an entire batch of images. So you want to go here to create a new action. And I'm going to call this 310 or 110 to 310. I'm going to hit record. Now the actions that you record will be applied to all of the images. So you need to complete an entire loop. So I'm going to open for each of these images, this is going to happen. So I'm going to open a template. I'm going to go back to my image. I'm going to select all. And I'm going to copy. And as you can see, the actions are being recorded here. And if you make a mistake, you can stop, go back, re-record, delete actions, whatever you want. Let's go back to the template and paste. I'm going to move the image. I want to pre be precise about it, so I'm going to use my arrow keys. But that looks fine. And I'm going to save as because I don't want to save over the template. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG. I'm going to name it test. Save. OK. I'm going to exit out of this because every image is going to need to exit out of it. And I don't want to save over my template, so no. Now I've completed one loop for an image. So I'm going to stop recording. To begin batch processing, go to File, Automate, Batch. <clears throat> and you want, to set, you want to set default actions and select your action that you just made. And the source is going to be a folder because you're going to put all the things that you want to do into one folder and that will be, <clears throat> I'm sorry, all the images that you want to apply the batch to in one folder and that will be the batch. And I'm going to choose the folder and I always suppress these dialogues and warnings so they don't pop up and stop the uh, batch processing. And here we want to leave unchecked because checking it would mean that you only want to <clears throat> apply the open action, open command from our um, loop, action loop, which is not the case here. We want the we want Photoshop to loop through all of the images in the in the folder and open them for us. And this open command is only opening the template. So we want to apply this to all the files. So here we want to uncheck it. 
and the destination choose a different folder. I have, I mean, a new folder called finished. And for this, we do want to check it because checking it tells Photoshop to ignore, um, to not run the save command on the images that are actually being looped through. We are not actually saving new files from the images in the batch. We're saving, we're, we're using the save as function, which is here, um, from the template. So we do want that checked here to, to have Photoshop not use that command in, in, its, in its loop. And here, Photoshop gives you the ability to uh, somewhat customize your file naming. So I like to use a four digit serial number and there's a bunch of other options here. And you can select what number for the serial uh, numbers to begin. So if I have five files, it'll go one through five. I'm gonna start at one. The extension you gotta have, it just means to have, P have uh, Photoshop put the .jpg extension. Okay, now we're ready to run the uh, batch. So let's press OK. And now it's gonna go through all five images and apply the same action loop that I just recorded in a fraction of the time. Okay, it looks like it's all done. Let's take a look. But let's check out these images. Yep, they all look pretty good. Now this is a very simple example, but you can just imagine all sorts of cool stuff you can do with this. And if you wanna do something more complicated than this, try to break it up in simpler steps and apply one step at a time to, to, a, to one batch at a time instead of trying to make a really complicated loop and do it all at once. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope that the brief tutorial was helpful and interesting. Definitely look for more of these in the future if I can um, think of them. And uh, until next time.